Hi everyone, I'm Jason Barrows with jerryjamesstone.com. Today we're going to make a lemon spice sheet cake. Today I'm going to use this cake for ice cream sandwiches, but it is very versatile. You can use it as a plated dessert base. You can cube it up and layer it with whipped cream and uh, other possibilities are endless. So let's go. We're going to start by mixing our dry ingredients together. So it's uh, flour and spices. And then we're going to whisk those together to incorporate. Okay, and once that's mixed, we're just gonna set this over to the side so we can mix our wet ingredients. So we're gonna whisk our eggs. So once that's uniform, I'm going to uh, add the sugar in. To that mix, we're going to add in our melted butter. Next up is lemon zest and lemon juice. And last bit is the molasses. Okay, it should be a nice caramel color. And now that that's mixed, we're going to next fold our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. Okay, so now we're gonna fold this all in. So for your pan, you're gonna to wanna to spray that with a vegetable pan spray or whatever. Uh, and then you're gonna lay a sheet of uh, parchment paper down and that's gonna prevent the uh, cake from sticking to the pan and it'll be able to get that out a lot easier when it's done. Uh, pour the batter into the pan. All right, next we're going to spread this out uh, completely into the pan. I'm gonna use my small offset spatula to do that. If you don't have a small offset spatula, any spatula will do. You'll just wanna make sure that it's a nice even layer so any tool will work here. Okay, once you've got that spread, um, I usually like to shake it a little bit and get some of the air bubbles out and even give it a couple of taps on the countertop. And give it a couple of taps. All right, we're ready to go in the oven. We're gonna bake this at 350 for 12 to 14 minutes, just until the uh, sides of the cookie pull away from the pan. So here we go. All right, our cookie has come out of the oven. We're going to let this sit for about five minutes, uh, just to let it cool down a little bit. And then we're gonna flip it out onto our wire rack. So we're gonna lay the wire rack on top of the pan like this. And then we're going to flip it over like that. All right, so we've let our cake cool and now we're going to peel the parchment back and I'm going to be using this cake for ice cream sandwiches. I'm going to be using strawberry and vanilla ice cream, basically cutting it in half, spreading it and taking the other half and putting it right on top. Other things that you could do are a plate of dessert, just get like a biscuit cutter, cut yourself around, put a scoop of ice cream on top of that, maybe some berries and whipped cream. Uh, you can make some kind of trifle, cut it into different shapes and layer that with whipped cream and fruit and pretty much anything you like. So thanks for joining us and tune in next time. We'll see you then. Thank you.